fun drawing exercise. Give you like a general like how to and then you know do it once my way or not uh, switch up the rules and try it out uh, doing something different. So the very first thing I want you to do you're going to make large swoopy lines for about 10 seconds. You want to fill up the page though. So you can stop there or like do more swirlies. Um, Cause that looks pretty cool. Um, so that could be one variation. Um, but you can also then take like five to 10 seconds and do intersecting straight lines. There we go. Now we have this guy. So now we've broken down those spaces um, into even smaller spaces with some straight and curved lines in a lot of them. So now the next thing we're going to do is incorporate color and pattern. You can come in and you can fill spaces up with full blocks of color. Um, but you can also, I'm gonna just outline this. And you don't have to outline, I just kind of, I like how it sets it apart sometimes. Um, you can then come in with pattern. So normally if I do a color field or like one, like I'm gonna call these a field. So like I've filled this in with a solid, I might come and find another area do like maybe three or um, or five. I usually do like odd numbers um, that repeat that same field. So I'm gonna do this one and then maybe I'll come over here and fill this one in. Um, and then I'll switch up and do a different color. So now maybe I want to do an orange. You know, you can think about like, do you want a really balanced composition? You know, and so you're going to place things, try to spread them out evenly so that it feels balanced. Um, or do you want an imbalanced composition? Um, so like maybe I'll put all my reds and oranges and yellows over here and then I'll like fill the rest with greens and blues and purples. Um, so that there is this like imbalance of like small, smaller amounts of warm colors versus cool colors or whatever. So maybe now I'll do polka dots. So there is no like right or wrong here. Um, I know I keep saying that to you guys, but I, I just want to keep bringing that home that these um, These are exercises that like one should be fun and relaxing um, But also should be sparking creativity 
Um, and so like I might be showing you something, but that doesn't mean that you have to do it just like I did it. Um, and that goes for when we're in class as well. You know, we all have different experiences, different likes and dislikes. And, you know, some of you might be like, uh, I cannot stand the color orange. I'm not putting orange in this piece at all. That's okay. Totally cool. Um, you know, or like you want to do uh, it basically all in black and white with just a lot of different patterns um, and no color at all or like one little piece of color so that the color really stands out. That could be awesome. Um, so just with that a little, little amount of time, we're starting to get something that's like interesting and kind of cool. It reminds me of um, Miro paintings a little bit. So kind of a mid-century modern take on things. Um, and you could just keep going with this. You could fill all of these um, with a different color and pattern, or you could leave it really sparse. Um, you know, like step back each time and be like, hmm, is that done? I think for me, I'm kind of into it just the way it is right now. I might I might move on to something else. Um, and then I could come back, like just do another one with a different color palette um, and see what happens. Um, and these could, they can exist just as they are, or like this could be a study for a large painting down the line. Um, or for like uh, a tr texture treatment you wanna do to a sculpture later on. So, um, Yes, these are just exercises, but they also could be part of something more um, or like a way for you to, to discover, make discoveries of um, more resolved work. If you are getting stuck on like pa creating patterns, um, you know, there's like these coloring books out there that have a world of different patterns. Um, and you can look them up online too. You can just Google or Pinterest patterns. Uh, lots of like traditional arts have a myriad of really beautiful, cool patterns that you can find. Um, pattern is one way to bring a lot of interest to your work. And so like developing your own visual language and, um, finding patterns that you're drawn to that you could incorporate into your work could be really cool um, and something that you find useful down the road. So it's not just fun and relaxing, which it is, um, but it also will help to push your work further along. So I hope that you enjoy that.